John Brophy joining me next on the pregame show. And John, a tough one last night. Had that two-goal lead up in Johnstown. And things kind of deteriorated there in the second period. Well, we never... Uh, we played okay in the, in the first period and uh, just okay. And then the second period, the rest of the game, we didn't play. Uh, the game was, was close, I guess you call it, obviously. But uh, penalties took us right out of the game. And then it seems to be a trend here lately that guys do whatever they want to do on the ice and taking swings at guys as sticks. And we're getting game after game after game misconduct. And then, uh, it's just ridiculous what's happened. And I don't know why. I mean, the absolute the discipline is zero on the team right now. So. I don't know what's, what's trying to, what we're trying to shoot ourselves in the foot all the time about. We're playing teams now. We're just coming off a three-game suspension or a five-game suspension with Mayon. And uh, now we go again tonight with two men short again. And, uh, I mean, they're valuable players for hockey, but I don't know. You know, at this point, our team's broken right down. Down to 12 skaters tonight. And, uh, well, that's... And just the one goaltender with McCluskey here tonight. Reich has gone up to sit on the Baltimore bench. Right, and um, it's... Um, it's a situation that you live with all the time because of uh, Ramon is, uh, is our number one goaltender here and um, uh, we had uh, me called up with the other guy getting hurt or pulled a muscle or something and uh, so he had a, he played last night and he'll play again tonight so I don't know how long he's going to be gone I sure hope not too long but uh, we'll have a week off next week and then uh, uh, we'll certainly dig up some players and try to dig up some, some uh, our goaltender for sure they're tough to find yes they are and any players now that will help a hockey club is very tough to find so um, it's not the point that they really our players are not good enough we're good enough we never seem to be able to stay in the lineup long enough to we always seem to be uh, uh, spotting guys each team that comes in here now a couple of players you can't do that and, and uh, it's just, just yeah actually it's just stupidity and, and uh, uh, there's no other way you can put it I want to just ask you about uh, Raymond. I don't know what kind of future he's got in the Washington organization, but he did go to Baltimore. He was the winning goaltender last night, and uh, hey, maybe he'll catch on with somebody else. I sure hope he does because he's absolute a super individual, and uh, I said before, I'm one, uh, without a doubt, the best professional player I ever worked with. And for him to come down here with his attitude that he's had down here, it just shows he's double more important. And uh, it's unfortunate that uh, other players on our hockey team hasn't got the same attitude. And it's starting to hurt our hockey club, and I'm going to have to get rid of some people, there's no question, because it's not a nice situation right now in our team. You would think that that might rub off. Uh, sometimes when you get bad attitudes, they're not smart enough to to understand. That's why they get bad attitudes anyway. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's uh, uh, people that are not happy here, I have to move out of here because uh, it's, uh, they're hurting the hockey club right now. John, uh, about tonight's game, you've got Erie coming in here. They're going sideways, too. And, uh, you know, you take a look at those standings, and, boy, things are getting bunched up around uh, three through seven. I mean, they're really getting tight. The old collar's getting tight on everybody now. And, and uh, when you sit and do nothing uh, when you're up front, and uh, usually you look around and somebody, a couple of teams in this case, about three teams caught up with us. And, and uh, um, we certainly have the same number of games played now, so we can't... Uh, uh, that what's against our disfavor is we're blowing home games, and, and uh, that's bad. And uh, we didn't do that at the first year. We won all our home games, and then uh, uh, we have to go on the road for a long road trip. And, and uh, we certainly have, have to have a different makeup on our team. we got to get people that are interested in winning and not individual uh, situations here, I think, because everybody's we got a few people in the rink now. Everybody wants to be their, their hero and forget about the team. And uh, that's got to stop, but it's unfortunate it's gone up too long. It's gone longer than I wanted to go, that's for sure. John, earlier today, Virginia won again at Johnstown, 4-3. to three. They've won 10 in a row now. And Winston-Salem beat Knoxville 4-3 to three in a shootout in Knoxville. And so you've got uh, Virginia with 59 points and Winston-Salem with 56 points. And they're putting some distance now between themselves and Russell. Yeah, I guess any time you get a team that's hot now, it's, it's the right time to get hot. Uh, um, the playoffs, obviously, is, you know, it's different than your, the NHL playoffs are starting the NHL April 4th or 6th. So. They could cool off again, but right now it's next to the time to get hot.